In this video, I'm going to present to you the live demonstration of an advanced multi-service super app solution. It's a complete multi-service app solution that includes customer app, admin panel, vendor panel. For now I will be covering the admin panel of super app. You first have to log in into your account with your login credentials. Either you can log in with a Google or Facebook account or simply click enter your email address, your password, and click on the continue button. Once you click on the continue button, you can redirect to the admin panel. In the admin panel, you can view the top. On the top of the admin panel, you can view the logo of your website further. We have four different sections under our admin panel orders, settings, marketing, and extra. Dashboard. In the order section, we have a dashboard section. In the dashboard section, you can view the number of customers, orders, total revenue earned, or products registered on your platform. If you want to view the revenue from here, you can view the graphical representation of the revenue earned, monthly, weekly. You can simulate it accordingly in which form you want to view it. From here you can view the current week revenue or previous week of revenue. Orders. Next, we have orders. In the orders section, you can view the number of pending orders, active orders, order history, or the return request of a particular order or cancel order request. If you want to select a particular vendor or want to view the orders of a particular vendor, you have to click on the vendor button. Select a particular vendor of which you want to view the orders, and the order history or pending orders or orders will be reflected here of that particular vendor. Next in the Vendors section you can view the total number of vendors, open vendors who are actively providing their services through your platform, number of total number of products on your platform, or total active orders. Here it is. If you want to view or get details of a particular vendor. From here you can view the particular vendor. From here you can view their logo with their icon, name, status, address. From here you can add the category, commission, percentage, products and so on. Next you have an accounting section. Under the accounting section you have a subsection of orders. Here you can view the total order value, total orders or cash to be collected or delivery fees. If you want to view the data of a particular order, from here you can view that along with the order, ID date, customer name, vendors, and other details. To view the order details or amount details of a particular vendor, select the vendor name, and it will be reflected here. From here you can download the export CSV file of the data. Next we have the loyalty section. You can view the loyal number of customers. Here total loyalty is applied, total loyalty on or spent or unique orders. From here you can export the CSV file of that loyalty data in promo codes. You can view the number of promo codes available on your platform, admin pay, total vendor pay, total promo codes, use unique users, and so on. From here, you can view the promo code of a particular order, ID date, time, customer name, vendor name and so on. Want to export the data? You can export the CSV file from here. Next in the taxes section here you can use the types of tax applied or top total tax collected from your customers over a particular order. Next, we have vendors in the vendors section. You can view the total order value, total delivery fees, total admin commissions. From here you can view the vendors with their name order value delivery fees or cash collected. If you want to download the debt of the vendors from here, you can extract the CSV file. Next payout requests you can view the payout request from here with the total order value payout value complete payout value. With the name, date, vendor name requested by or the amount and the action. From here you can see that either it is pending or completed. Next you have order refunds if some of someone the customer is applying for a refund. From here you can view the details of that particular customer with their email, phone order number, transaction ID and refund ID, and you can also view the status of that refund money. Next we have a subscription section. In the subscription section, we have customers. In the customer section, you can view the total number of subscribed users or total number of subscribed users in percentage. From here, you can view the titles of the subscription plans with their images, description, price features like in Golden Plan, we have free delivery frequency weekly status. It's not enabled right now. If you want to enable this subscription plan, you can simply have to click on the status button. Next, if you want to edit the particular subscription plan, click on the added button, fill out the details, change the details, and click on the submit button. Same will be reflected on the customer app. If you want to delete it, click on the delete button. Next in the vendors section, you can view the subscription plans available for the vendors. 
Here you can view the total subscribed vendors and numbers are in percentage. From here, this is the details of plans available for vendors standard or premium. If you want to enable it, click on this button. Next awaiting approval, approved or rejected plans from here you can check that. Next in the customers section, you can view the active user number of customers in active users or social login accounts. If you want to view the details of an active customer number, from here you can view that with their name, name image, user type, login type, last sign up date, or last login date. If you want to import the data of customers, from here you can extract the CSV file. If you want to add a particular customer, fill out the details and click on the submit button. Next you have reports. In the reports section, you can review the product with their name, average rating, total reviews or view ratings. Next in the product performance report, you can view the performance report of a particular product based on the feedback given by the customers. From here you can check the report of top 10 20,100 and so on. Next in the chat section we have a user vendor or user driver. From here you can use the chat of user vendors like when the customer places the order, what chat is held between the vendor and the customer rated to the product. From here you can check that with the chat ID. Same with the user driver. From here you can check the chat held between the user and driver during delivery. Next we have a section of settings section. In the settings section first we have profile from here you can customize profile, as you can see from here you can select light theme logo or dark theme logo. As well you can edit the other details of the profile like name, email, contact number, and to save them click on update button. Next we have section F customization from where you can customize your details like localization, delivery time estimator, language and currencies, and other details like vendor type, links, nomenclature and miscellaneous. Next in styling, we have to sub sections of app styling and web styling. In app styling, you can customize font style of the color, top bar styles, which will be reflected on the user application as customized by you. After making all these changes, click on the submit button. Same with the web styling you can edit the details that you want to reflect on your web app, like what should be the view of the homepage, payment methods and all other details, after doing that click on the submit button to save the details. Next we have a CMS section, first we have a subsection of pages. From here you can edit the page what information could a page should reflect. From here you view the list of driver registration, fax, and so on. If you want to add a new list click on the add button, fill out all the details, and click on the submit button. To make changes in the driver registration page make the changes that you want and click on the update button. Next we have a subsection of emails, you can view the list of subjects to send in the newsletter. Select the subject line, add content and click on the public button newsletter will be shared with the users. Next notifications you can share with the users can be regarding new order, order status update, refund status update, order modified it can be for anything. You just have to select the subject line, enter the content and click on the publish button, it will be shared with the users. Last subsection we have of SMS, with this you can share the push notification in the form of SMS regarding order placement, OTP, it can be for anything. You just have to select the subject line, template id, enter the content and click on the publish button, it will be shared. Next we have a catalog section from where you can view the categories of the product you are offering to the customers. If you want to add a new category click on the add button, fill out the details and click on the save button. You can also add variants, brands, tags and all other details. Next we have a section of configuration where you can select the hyperlocal you can enable it from here. You can allow social login to your users from here. You can edit all other details too. Next in the tax section you can view the tax categories implied on the customer purchase. If you want to add a new tax category, click on the add button, fill out the details, and click on the submit button. Next through payment options you can select the payment method through which you want to accept the payments online. It can be cash on delivery, PayPal, Stripe. You can enable any of the payment methods by clicking on the enable button. Next you can select the delivery options, as you see Royo Dispatcher is our current delivery partner. You can view the details of the dispatcher like URL, code, API key and all other details. Next we have a marketing section. Under the marketing section we have banners under which we have web banners or mobile banners. Web banners are those which are reflected on your website. From here you can view the image, which is the image of your web banner name duration from when to when it will be reflected on your website, means it's a time duration of your particular web banner. 
and if you want to edit a particular banner from here you can edit it. Edit the details and click on the submit button. If you want to add a new banner, you have to click on that button. We can edit the details like uploading the banner image, entering the name, start date, 10 date, and clicking on the submit button. Next, same with the mobile banners. Under mobile banners section. From here you can view the image of your mobile banner which is reflected on your customer app, name, duration, and if you want to add a new banner for mobile banner from here you can add it. Simply click on upload the mobile banner image name, start date and date, and click on the submit button. Next we have promo codes. From here you can enter the promo codes if you want to add a new promo code, click on the add button, upload the promo code, image title, short description, promo code, promo code, type, amount, expiry date and what you want to offer with it. Either it is free delivery or first order only. Fill out all these details and click on the submit button. Your promo code will be reflected here with all these details. Next, you have the loyalty section. Under the loyalty section, you can view the loyalties like gold name of the loyalty plan, either gold plan, silver plan or platinum plan description of that particular loyalty plan, minimum points, status, and if you want to edit it, simply click on the edit button. Edit all these details and click on the submit button. Same if you want to add the new loyalty card, you have to upload the image here of your particular loyalty card, enter the details, and click on the submit button. Next we have campaigns under the campaigns section. From here you can view all the campaigns run on your platform. From here you can view the title of that particular campaign type, URL option, request, user count and all other details. If you want to add a new campaign, you have to fill out the details like title, SMS, notification type, which type of notification you want to send the details of. Either it is SMS, after adding that these details will be reflected here with the name tag, description, country and all other details you entered there. After filling out all these details, click on the submit button. Next, we have an extra section. Under the extra section we have a subsection of influencer. From here you can add the influencers, upload the image of the influencer name plug, country of that particular influencer, add description about influencer, and click on the submit button. After adding that these details will be reflected here with the name tag, description, country and all other details you entered there. Next you have inquiries from here you can check out the product inquiries like total unique product vendor count and total unique product count, and here you can view the data available of inquiries like with their name, email, phone company name, message and product type. Next we have tools, with tools you can have catalog copy to like copy from select vendor for copy. Either it is flywheel spread. You have to select the vendor from here. From here you can add the text category which will be reflected on your customer app. Either GST is 5%, 12%, 28% and all other details, and click on the submit button. Next you have database audit logs from here you can check out the log log tables with authentications or user order client vendors from here, you can view all these log tables. If you want to view the log table of users, you simply click on the users, and from here you can check out all the login details of a particular customer with their name, event and values. So this is how the admin panel of Super Ace app works. So, if you're thinking of creating your own multi-service Super app, then get in touch with us. To schedule a free consultation and demo session with our team of business experts, click on the link given in the description.